Welcome back to All These Friends. By the way, I'm Josh. I'm Joyce. <laughs> and we're doing the All These Wine and Cheese calendars for the year 2022. And we're hoping you're doing them along with us. So let's just dive right into day three. Let's figure we out what We have is. arrived at day three. Uh, day three is right here. Stab it. Step, step. Rip. All right, looks like we got a red here. So, so th grab the red wine glass. All these labels are themed. Like they, they do go to the theme. And even the outside of the box is gorgeous as well. Like, I'm impressed. This I, is the first wine calendar I've done, but this has been an elegant experience. They're all like similar pictures, not the same picture. Yeah, and they But match. I was expecting them to be the brands. Yes, exactly. And I was expecting them to be like some of the normal Aldi's brands, but you just get different ones, but these have been all special and from different countries so far, and I'm loving it. This yeah. is exciting to open up every day. I'm getting a lot of berry notes, maybe cinnamon, and maybe almond. There's something else like- Like nutty. Out there. Yeah. Hmm. Is this a spiced wine? Mm -mm. Or a sweet wine? I don't think it's spiced, but I'll let you know once I get to that point. I don't know what it is, but I like it. It's not- a lot of sweet forward, but it's not very dry with the tannins that I get with a lot of the oak, like the wines that we liked, you like, that we agree on. Mm -hmm. That we, we meet in the middle for. And it, it's fun. There's like a lot of like. Wait, I wait, 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 wait. Now you're hyping this up so much. I want, I need to. A... This is my favorite so far. This is a gem. Okay, yes. I do get like the, the tannic spice notes on the nose. Yeah. No, that's like, that's like the way I want my like, more tannic wines to be like, I don't just want tannin for tannic's sake. I want tannins with some like spiciness, probably from the oak barrels when they age it, assuming it's mm. aged. Most, most, this has to be aged. So it dry? It's dry, but it's not dry that I'm used to. Like, I feel like if you add an orange to this, it would just like round it out so much and feel spicy and yeah. yeah. This is, Winter getaway. They all these descriptions make it sound like these are like wines you can go out and buy, like just like from like other retailers. Oh. So, but they're also like all of them are themed. The names at least are themed to. Yeah. So the are they calendar. only produced for the advent calendar, or the other? Are they rebranded? Right. So like, can I get these somewhere else? Is what basically the question I'm asking. Like, if I like one of these, can I go get it? So this is winter getaway. Is a jammy fruit makes the perfect red blend. Just, okay. That's what it says. That's like the tagline. Winter getaway packs a punch and leaves you feeling dreamy like you've got, just gone into vacation mode. Hey, you deserve it. <laughs> Embrace your new mood with this dry, powerful, larger than life red blend that doesn't hold back. You'll find jammy red fruit and blackberry, smooth tannins with a mocha finish mm -hmm. from a touch of oak. Pair it with decompressing from a long family visit, true crime marathons, and dancing around your kitchen. Nice. The next tagline is from a region that has unsubscribed from the drama. This red blend comes to you from Portugal, a region that has remained largely secluded from the rest of the world. Winter Getaway tells the story of a region that has remained politically safe, innovative in its winemaking, and always down for a midnight dip in the ocean. If that's your style too, be sure to drink this wine like the Portuguese, guilt-free, on your own time, and don't think about work. <laughs> Winter Getaway is a bold red wine with robust tannins. That means that it will pair with the heaviest dishes you can think of. The more meat, the better. Save this wine for a bratwurst on the, on the grill, enchiladas with Spanish rice, steak and potatoes, and roast beef. All right, well, that was day three. Oh, we didn't do cheese yet. No. All that talking and we forgot about the cheese. We just sit and relax on our own time. Right, sorry. I have to make sure I am in the spirit of the wine. Open up this cheese. Because it's in like this plastic wrapper, it conforms to the, the like the way the wrapper is. And it always looks just like a little bit like a little bit sus. Really? Just what like that, other it, shape would it be, Josh? <laughs> well just say that there's like a, a curve. Instead of being like perfectly square. Give you another sip. The vacuum packing has like made it. Slightly off, perfect. Mm. So you don't you don't like the rounded edges? No, no, that's fine too. What I'm just saying is like they're all the same shape. No, 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 like like these little like dimples and stuff in the plastic. Oh, 
Like okay. it's not perfect. Like the vacuum seal wrinkles. Right. The wrinkles. The wrinkles. Throw off your cheese experience. Yes. Because it makes it reminds me of like cheese food. Mm-hmm. The Velveeta. The Velveeta. The and off brand of Velveeta. All the cheese products. We've had that. I don't remember what it was called though. I can't think of the Aldi brand, Velveeta. I, I can think that I can picture it. We have it in our fridge, but I took it out of the box. Oh. Anyways, cheese. <laughs> This does pair beautifully. Also, my favorite my favorite wine so far, because there are those notes, perhaps it's the cocoa and the blackberry, but it's like, it's fun. And I feel like there's notes, and I don't know quite what they are, but they like keep circling around and it has a lot of character and body. It's not heavy tannins. Yeah, no, I like this a lot, this is good. Is this a cheddar cheese? No. A Gloucester cheese? It's close. No. Oh. The only other orange cheeses that I know are like Colby cheese. We've had this cheese before. Oh, a Leicester? Yeah, there you go. Which I only know because we have in previous years done the Aldi cheese calendar, <laughs> broadening my horizon. The red Leicester. Do you think they change things up year to year? Oh, absolutely. They have to, or people will not buy into it. They Neither. at least have to reorder it. But I'm sure even for their own sake, like they add new things in, trade things out. But some things are stables that you should not mess with. Sure, sure. Well, that is day three of the Aldi and cheese advent calendars. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you are enjoying your own wine uh, with us or the cheese too or whatever you're doing. Let us know what other Aldi reviews we should do or comparisons or what other ideas you have for this channel. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow. Night.